Rays hosting the Angels, and the Angels are plus 172 on the money line. The Rays are minus 205. Over under, eight runs. The Angels getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 125, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Rays laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 104, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by a minimum of two. Thank you for everyone who continues to join the Discord. I really do appreciate you guys. If you have not done so yet, go to my website, rawsportstalk.com. Click on the Memberships tab. It is a paid membership. Once you join, you'll get a link in your email to the Discord server. That's mine. If you don't have Discord, you'll have to download it and create an account. Now, Sandoval pitched once against the Rays this year. Four and two-thirds, six runs, two of which were earned, and they lost that game 18-4. to He struck out four batters in that game, and that was the last game these teams played against each other. Bradley didn't pitch against the Angels either last year or this year. The Angels are 1-4 and four in Sandoval's last five starts. He's got an ERA of 3.4, averaging four and two-thirds innings pitched and 4.2 strikeouts per game in those games. And in his last three against the Rays, he averages five innings, 5.3 hits, 4.7 runs, two earned runs, five strikeouts, two walks, 0.7 home runs, and 95 pitches. That's this year, last year, and uh, the year before. For the Rays, Bradley, like I said, they are 3-2 and two in his last five. He's got an ERA of 3.4, averaging four and two-thirds innings pitched and 5.8 strikeouts per game in those games. Head-to-head, -head, the home team is 7-3. and three. The Rays are 7-3. and three. The favorite is 6-4 and four on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 6-4. and four. There have been three one-run games in their last 10 meetings against each other. The over is hitting their last four. The over is 7-2-1, and one, and the over 8 is 7-3. and three. We don't need to worry about the win because it's a dome there in Tampa. The last game they played against each other, the Rays kicked the shit out of the Angels 18-4. The game before that, the Angels won 7-6, and the game before that, the Rays won 9-6. The Angels are 4-6 and six in their last 10. They're on a five-game losing streak, and the under is 5-4-1 and one in their last 10 games. For the Rays, they are 7-3 and three in their last 10. They're on a two-game losing streak, 2-2 two and two in their last four, and the over is 6-4. and four. And they need to keep winning because they need to keep pace with the Orioles because they do have a chance to still catch them for the division. So I'm going to take the Rays with the money line, the Rays laying the runs, and the over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.